Tornado right over Hamilton. That's Interstate 22. This is the uh, US 43 exit coming up into a town, which is Military Street. And again, that's moving northeast. And again, uh, this is brilliant down here. This is Hackleburg. This is Bear Creek. And this one might be more of a problem for Haleyville. So again, uh, Winston County, just a heads up, that storm that is producing a tornado over Hamilton now, potentially, uh, could make a pretty close move up toward Bear Creek or Haleyville. So if you're watching up in there, be ready to go to a safe place as this thing gets close. Now let's go down to the south. We'll work these other two storms. And uh, again, we, we're watching the... Uh, Live video feed coming in from John Brown and Mike uh, Wilhelm. They are in a part of the state that is very challenging for data. I'll tell you that, uh, that we, we were able to see their feed in uh, Pickensville. But we've got two distinct circulations here. We've got the southern circulation that is coming into far northern Sumter. The northern circulation, this thing is really wrapped up right here. Uh, it looks like it has come through Pickensville. It's going to be passing north of downtown Carrollton. Again, this is the county seat. This is US 82. And w that's just amazing. A 15.3 significant tornado index. Uh, so uh, again, the, the system is telling us that this could be a very large, dangerous tornado. And of course, we knew that coming into today. But another reminder to please take this seriously. And because of the damage we had this morning, you'll hear us say this a lot, but people come and go during weather coverage. If you know of people, relatives or folks you know that are in these areas we're calling out, call them on a cell phone and, and on their cell phone and just maybe cellular service will work if the conventional service is not working. So we'll take off this data and again, let me just show you where this is in relationship to uh, reform, all right? That could be a violent tornado moving northeast. And clearly, the greatest danger is to reform. I think the one thing I'm starting to learn, with every outbreak, they're different. There's a clear northward component of motion today. So instead of uh, moving more east, these are moving more northeast and a clear northward component of motion. So uh, clearly, the greatest danger will be to reform and not to Gordo. But that's uh, an intense circulation on radar. Intense. And again, uh, this is US 82, so nobody should be driving along US 82 right now in Pickens County, period. From the Tuscaloosa County line to the Mississippi State line, nobody should be driving on US 82. These large tornadoes can take cars and toss them like a car, uh, like a toy. And uh, again, uh, this is not the place you want to be. And the same thing for mobile homes. Nobody should be in a mobile home during an event like this. And in a site-built home, you want to be down low, underground if you can, uh, away from windows, small room, hall, closet, bathroom, near the center. Forget the northeast and southwest walls and things like that. doesn't matter. So, again, this is coming northeast right up toward Reform. And, uh, again, that's US 82 right there. Downtown Reform is right here. This thing is racing. Uh, these are moving probably at about 50 miles an hour. And, uh, you know, there, there are no traffic lights. Uh, you got nobody in the way. They just fly. And uh, they move very quickly. So this thing basically is on downtown reform right now. So uh, we have a potential for a violent tornado that is near reform in Pickens County moving northeast. And, of course, if that continues, that will carry it north of US 82 up toward Fayette County and maybe extreme north Tuscaloosa County. There is technically a tornado warning for a part of Tuscaloosa County on this storm. But, again, based on this more northward component of motion here, that might be more of an issue for Fayette, maybe clipping far northwestern Tuscaloosa County. So let's look at the southern storm down below that and that is a very very dangerous storm at reform in pickens county uh, the second one again back here you've got this intense circulation near the alabama mississippi state line and again the velocities are almost maxed out geiger was hit by an ef3 tornado april 15th and again, this circulation is moving like that. Uh, that's Alabama Highway 17. That's the last north-south highway in Alabama before you cross over into Mississippi. And uh, obviously, nobody should be driving along Alabama Highway 17 in northern Sumter County. Now, th this will be clearly north of York, north of Livingston, north of the campus of the University of West Alabama. Uh, this is for northern Sumter, crossing the Tom Bigby, which is right here. That's the Sipsy right here. This is where the Tom Bigby and the Sipsy Rivers come together. Uh, but that will be moving northeast, uh, basically up the uh, Sipsy Swamp, up toward Benevola, and ultimately into uh, Tuscaloosa County. So circulation number one is at Reform, circulation number two near Geiger, both of them moving northeast. Got a tornado now, on the ground from Mike Wilhelm, uh, Highway 86. We have trees and power lines down east of Pickensville blocking the road. So a tornado on the ground headed for Reform right now. And again, like we have said over and over, if you are in Reform or if you are 
right there in the reform area. You don't even have to be in the city limits here. If you're near reform, Alabama Highway 86 and uh, Alabama 17, you need to be in a safe place immediately. You don't have any time to bother with the uh, watching and waiting to see what happens. You need to protect your life. Forget the property, protect your life from a possible large damaging tornado that's moving into reform right now in northern Pickens County. It will pass by Gordo, but it's going to come right in on reform. In fact, it might be a little bit on the western side of the city out there close to the old Jitney jungle. Uh, so uh, if you're in that part of reform, you need to watch out for this. This is coming in fast. Don't stand on the front porch and watch it. I know I've said that over and over, but Seriously, we don't want you taking pictures of this. We want to get pictures afterward. If you have them after the storm is safely passed, that's fine, but don't take them as the storm is coming towards you. And if you do have some post storm pictures, send them to us at pictures at abc3340.com. And the same reiteration over and over if you know someone there, their weather radios are not working properly, let them know. Call them, text them, do something to get their attention and let them know that we are talking about a possible significant tornado that is life threatening moving into reform right now. Right, and again, we're going to call this a tornado emergency. We both got John and Mike together, and again, they are reporting a, a large tornado with this storm that is right on reform right now uh, as it came through. In fact, I'll, I'll just read the, the report. They don't have enough bandwidth to get a stream out. Uh, the, it's trying, you know, it's like trying to get a golf ball through a garden hose. We, we can't get that video out of there at this moment because of the infrastructure issues. But again, in a moment, as soon as we get their stream established, we'll pass that back on. But uh, uh, coming from them... Uh, they are reporting um, a tornado on the ground on Highway 86, damaged trees and power lines east of Pickensville blocking the road. And, and again, that is the circulation that is right over downtown Reform right now, moving northeast. The second circulation is coming up this way. And again, this is for everybody in northern Sumter. But that is, we're, we're going to call this a tornado emergency now for Pickens County because of Mike's report of a large tornado that's come through here. And again, that is coming right through Reform right now, moving northeast. If you're in Gordo, just for safety's sake, I would still say in a safe place. Clearly, the greatest risk is at Reform, moving northeast. And again, we've got that other circulation for northern Sumter. Now, let's go up to the storm that's Near Hamilton. We're working three storms. We're going to bounce back between all of them today. And again, uh, this is the storm that has come through Hamilton. Uh, and I have not, Jason, heard of any damage with this latest storm from Hamilton, to my knowledge, which is good. Uh, but we have to respect all of these things because even if you don't have damage, you might soon look at this. Right. We still have a, a really strong right indication. Haleyville. Yeah. Hey, hey. And Haleyville Sky now, Cam. Now look, we got a Sky Cam in downtown Haleyville. Uh, we're going to point that thing back to the west. Now, there is no formal. We don't have a Haleyville Sky. Oh, I got power outage up there, too. But we, yeah. I mean, this it's been down since 528 a.m. Took a beating this morning. And accordingly, the infrastructure and the power outage is going to be a very problematic situation for coverage today. But I'm just telling you right now, a wrapped up storm. It's coming right toward downtown Haleyville. I would go to a safe place now. I know there's no formal warning for Pickens County, and this will be a day where there's going to be so many tornado warnings that it's going to be hard to keep track of them. But if you hear me calling out your community, you want to go to a safe place. So again, uh, Haleyville, you need to be in a safe place. Bear Creek, same thing, safe place. This storm is past Hamilton. For Hamilton, the danger is over for now. There could be other storms coming later, but from this storm, the danger is over. Potential for what could be a pretty large tornado. Large wedge tornado on the ground in northeast Kemper County. Okay, in and Mississippi. that's in this Mississippi, all right? Yeah, that's near the state line, so let's back out and look at that that's one. That's the one coming up in the northern Sumter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, this is from Alan Gerard. Alan is the uh, meteorologist in charge of the National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, they've got uh, spotters reporting a large wedge tornado on the ground in northeastern Kemper County. And again, that's this one right here. Uh, that is coming up into far northern Sumter. And again, that one's going to want to move in this direction. So I'm just telling you, if this stays on that same track, that's going to wind up in Tuscaloosa. This one that's over reform is moving northeast. And again, you can see that's going to come up here toward Newtonville uh, near the Fayette Tuscaloosa County line. It's moving like that. And uh, that's going to be far, far north of Tuscaloosa. And uh, this is Highway 171. Uh, that's US 43 right here. And, and look at this thing. 
I mean, it is just wrapped up right over downtown Reform. Uh, and again, that is moving to the northeast, and uh, that is about as strong of a signature as you'll ever see. When you see that swirl like that, how they, uh, how they twist. Right. It looks like Valonia, Arkansas a few right. nights ago. It's the exact same thing. Well, it, look, it looks like the tornadoes we had back on April 15th, too. The, right. We, we've seen couplets before, but when you get these two things twisting around each other, there's almost certainty. There's almost 100% certainty that there's a tornado in Reform now, and uh, up Highway 17, just north of reform and then this will cross over highway 159 up around the palmetto community north of gordo and then as james mentioned coming toward uh, the uh, newtonville area near the tuscaloosa fayette county line so uh, highways that are in line for this it's over 82 right now it's over 17 right now it will cross 159 north of gordo it will cross 171 probably just a touch north of brownville maybe close to brownville and moore's bridge uh, it's going to be awfully close because these things can make a little bit of a right turn or a left turn and then North Tuscaloosa County and Southern Fayette County you need to be in a safe place immediately we have confirmation that a tornado has crossed through Pickens County it is likely in reform now or passing slightly north of reform and if it's anything like what we have seen in Coleman so far and what we've seen across Mississippi so far this could be a large violent tornado that's the kind of atmosphere we have there are a few times in a lifetime that you have an atmosphere like we do today. Please do not take anything we say for granted. This is a violent tornado situation. It's a life threatening situation. Please take cover anytime you're under a tornado warning on a day like this. Again, a few times in your life you're going to see anything that's on this kind of magnitude where we can almost pinpoint a tornado just by the signature like that. But uh, from Reform Northeast to Palmetto, Newtonville, Moores Bridge, and uh, down toward uh, Brownville, you need to be in a safe place immediately. Yeah, well, we got another nasty couplet west of Hamilton. I, you know, let, let's expand this thing out. What I want to do is show a big picture with the reflectivity, and we're going to do a reset here. It's uh, coming up on 4 o'clock. This is Alabama's ABC 3340, WBMA Birmingham, WCFT Tuscaloosa, WJSU Anniston. Uh, we have violent storms, and this thing right here is really wrapped up, the one across the state line. That will be entering Marion County here shortly, and, and there's a tornado warning for that. We have one possible tornado approaching downtown Haleyville. If you're in northwest Winston County around Haleyville or northeastern Marion County around Bear Creek, be in a safe place now. And as Jason said, this is serious urgent business today. We don't take this tone of voice very often. We don't say this to alarm anybody, but based on the fact that we had five people killed this morning in the state, and we have to treat this stuff with great, great respect. Uh, so again, a tornado possibly approaching Haleyville. Haleyville should be in a safe place right now. A second storm that is very, the rotation is extremely tight. This will be affecting areas mainly north of Hamilton. We have a third storm of the tornado near Reform. That's coming up in the northwestern Tuscaloosa County uh, near the Fayette County line. That'll be splitting the difference between Lake Tuscaloosa and Fayette. And then we have this other storm that's coming up into Pickens County. And you can see a circulation here and a circulation here. This is one that is wrapped up that's uh, going to be coming up pretty much along the Sipsi River. And again, the Sipsi River separates Green and Pickens counties in West Alabama. And uh, if that continues on that track, this tornado could wind up approaching downtown Tuscaloosa. That's it, the storm that had the wedge tornado in northeast Kemper County, too. Okay, and we the got one that's in Sumter now that's moving into the edge of Pickens and Northern Green is the one that had a violent tornado reported with it uh, by some storm spotters who were tracking it. And we got that information from the National Weather Service in Jackson, and uh, that has been relayed through Birmingham. So Northern Sumter County around Geiger, uh, Pickens County, Cochran, Dancy, uh, then over toward uh, West Green, Hebron, Union, uh, and then near the Sipsi River in Green County, rural Green County up north of Utah, uh, Highway 14. You need to be in a safe place immediately. And I say immediately, get there stay there. If you have a uh, problem because you're in a, a mobile home, uh, then uh, you need to get to a sturdy shelter now. You've got a few minutes in Greene County to do this. In Sumter County, it's almost too late because this thing's on top of you. Uh, it would be better to get out into a ditch or a culvert. Even though the rain is coming down hard, it may be hailing, there's all kinds of thunder and lightning, it's better to be protecting yourself on stable ground than sitting in a mobile home. And certainly, don't be in a vehicle trying to outrun these things. All right. Uh, and again, if you're just joining us, 
we've had a major tornado touchdown in Coleman. Uh, I don't know how many people have been injured. We are still assessing that. And again, we will pass that information along as we can. But again, we are here to provide current ongoing information about very dangerous storms in West Alabama. So again, to get you, get you situated here, this is Sumter County. That is a dangerous storm near Scuba, Mississippi that's going to be crossing the state line, passing into Sumter County. This is a possible tornado that's going to be skirting the county line between Pickens and Greene counties, uh, basically moving right up the Sipsi River toward Benevola in western Tuscaloosa County. And one of these could perhaps make a run at downtown Tuscaloosa if it continues. We have a new tornado warning for Coleman County. Again, uh, for Coleman.